Have you ever thought much about bread? I have. I love bread. And you know, these days you get a lot of people saying that you need to eat less bread and eat less gluten. And to them, I say, no, I love bread. I'm going to keep eating bread. Because bread is one of those wonderful, universal foods, that basic sustenance and nutrition that you find in every culture in every part of the world. Whether it's your Mediterranean flatbreads or naans and chapatis in India or tortillas over in Mexico or a good Scottish morning roll. Every culture has its own version of bread, this simple, basic thing that we need for life. Let me explain what I mean. Because in essence, bread is just flour, salt, and water. But when we bring those things together and mix them up, we can make bread. That basic thing that gives life and nutrition and sustenance to all people. Now in the book of John, in chapter 6, Jesus says this. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. My father did. And now he offers you the true bread from heaven. The true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread every day. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So when Jesus says to his followers and to the crowds who are gathered around that he is the bread of life, he's saying that he is that basic, essential, foundational thing that we need if we want to, to live, to have life, to thrive throughout our lives. You know, throughout the Gospels, Jesus says time and time again that it is him that we need if we're going to have life and have it in all of its fullness. Just like bread is that basic, simple, nutritional thing, just flour, salt, water brought together to give us life, to keep us alive and, and that basic thing that keeps us going. Jesus says that in a spiritual sense, he is that basic thing that we need. He's that foundation, that essential thing that we require if we're going to have life and if we're going to thrive and have life as he promises in all of its fullness. So I guess the question that I want to leave you with, if you are a follower of Jesus, does he have that place of being that essential, fundamental, that basic thing that you need in life every day? And if you're not a follower of Jesus, well then maybe there's something to think about of whether you'd want to have him as part of your life, having that, that basic essential need fulfilled. Because we believe that it's only in Christ that we can find that fulfillment. Of course, the Bible also says to taste and see that the Lord is good. Brilliant.